going to get better before it gets worse, right? It's going to get better before it gets any worse. But oh boy. What a dope. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for coming back to Remy Be Real. I'm Remy. Hope you're doing fantastic whenever and wherever you're tuning in. What you just saw was from the end of April. That was me going in to check out the pool for the very first time. If you all remember, I can't swim or I couldn't swim. Um, the pool was just not a part of the gym that I would ever visit. I figured I would go and speak to someone at the aquatics department just to figure out the lay of the land. So of course I was going to do some research too. I got online and trying to figure out what the dimensions of the pool were, what the lane markers meant, what the flags meant and all that. And before I even get too deep into this, I am clearly not an expert. Uh, I only wish to share my experience and the things that I've learned. And if what you've learned works for you, that's awesome. This is what I have done and what has gotten me to where I am now. And maybe there are other ways. Maybe you've got some experience and you learned as a child. This is what worked for me as an adult learning how to swim. That out of the way, I came in right away thinking, all right, let me try to relax and float. Nope, didn't happen. Um, and I've heard this. Uh, I wanted to try it out. Uh, turns out not everyone can float and that's okay. And the more that I spoke to my coach about it and the more that I practiced, the more I realized that actually I don't need this. Um, and to this day, I can't really just hang out and float. Um, treading water is not something that I put a lot of energy into learning how to do. Um, it's something that I would like to check the box and to be clear, it's quite possible that I could revisit those techniques now that I am way more comfortable in the water now than I was, you know, the first two weeks of trying this out. But with my goal being on athletic swimming and triathlon swimming, it wasn't really something that I needed to spend much time working on. So. Honestly, I just haven't. Um, I have spent a lot of time working on body position, bilateral breathing, and stroke efficiency. But early on, those were all very foreign concepts. I had to get started with just getting my face in the water and breathing, blowing bubbles, exhaling. I realized uh, very early on that Having air in my lungs would make me more buoyant and that would keep me up to the surface. And that was awesome. That got me going and just kind of gliding and holding my breath. Problem there is that I need to breathe. And I would exhale all of it and immediately start to sink. And then I, because I held my breath, now I am completely exhausted I hadn't been breathing regularly, so I had that carbon buildup in my lungs, and now I'm really gasping and wanting more air. Generally speaking, I am not one to just uh, throw money at a problem, so to speak. I don't got it like that. <clears throat> but I was coming up against, you know, I was just getting really bothered with water in my ears while I'm swimming. I guess some people are just better and it bothers them less, but that, that was making things really uh, uh, harder than it needed to be for me. Along with that, Coach had suggested that I get a front snorkel um, that would let me focus more on my form and my actual uh, core strength and engagement, my form in swimming, and not so much focusing on trying to breathe, because don't die, right? Um, generally, I like to just kind of figure it out. I think it's gonna add quality to the sessions. We'll see. So going into the second week, I got all the tools. Right away, I got a pair of buoyancy shorts, obviously goggles, necessary to get the goggles. Um, I was suggested to also get a pull boy, paddles, a front snorkel. Now your mileage may vary. Maybe you don't need all the gizmos, you don't need all the accessories, but for me, it was about getting comfortable. And some of those things just made it so that I could actually show up three to four times a week to actually put in the reps in the pool and just 
get to work and not have another barrier of entry. I had never been into the deep end prior to this. I promise you that's not a lie. And after about four weeks of swimming in earnest, I finally got bold enough. I checked in with the lifeguard, make sure she was standing real close by. I took off the snorkel, took off all the accoutrement, and uh, gave it a go. Now, looking back at that, <laughs> that was not very graceful. That wasn't anything pretty at all. But it was me going from one end of the pool to the other, which four weeks prior, I 100% could not do. So I, I felt amazing. I thought I was Phelps out there, you know, I, I was just gliding. It's how I felt. I had done some sink down drills to see that once I reached the bottom of the pool, worst case scenario, you reach the surface like that, um, you just rock it off the bottom of the pool. Um, so having that in mind, it did add to my confidence and willingness to even give that a try. Um, but that that was an amazing feat for me at the time and for as great and accomplished as it felt in that moment i also knew hey you've got eight weeks uh before the triathlon and this is great and all but you've got to swim for a lot longer and you need to be a lot more efficient than you were just then um because i had to stop and rest uh for a while before I could make it the next way back and trust me I did have the lifeguard walk alongside with me on the return trip as well just to be safe. A lot of my riding buddies are also triathletes and now that I'm uh, coming along they invited me up for an open water swim so let's go. This will be the absolute first time because if you've been following along I just learned how to swim so why not increase the level of difficulty and um, stay uncomfortable, right? So we're going to head out the beaches that away. I'm headed over to Sandy Beach. And um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's do it. So that, that was cold. It was really, really, really cold. Um, they're all still in there, actually. That's Joe coming out. Uh, but holy shit, that is really, really cool, though. Um, wow. I had heard it's different. And wow. Uh, so we'll try it again. That's salt in my mouth. This was very different. It was really cool. And I am awake. I'll tell you that. Um... This is the strongest cup of coffee you're ever going to get. Holy crap. What do you think the water was? Said like 58 degrees. Whew. Okay. Okay. What a day. What a day. But um, first open water experience check. Uh, I, I think I'll... I'll do it again, but we're probably going to go to a lake, probably to a pond. Um, less waves. It'll be cool. <clears throat> By all accounts, I'd say things are going pretty well. However, I do still know that I have a deadline and the race is August 29th. And this is good. This is good progress, but it's got to accelerate. Folks were telling me that, oh, you've got plenty of time. But I was like, how? How am I going to make this much progress in the next month and a half? And it, I, I was scrambling, trying to figure it out. I had maybe six and a half, seven weeks at this point. And instead of worrying too much on how it was going to happen, I shifted that energy and just kept putting the work in. I was going up to Walden Pond, still making swimming a priority three to four times a week. Obviously the running and cycling were coming, but I was less concerned about those because I've run marathons and I have cycled centuries. I'm just learning how to swim, but staying consistent with it and showing up 
Um, we had a couple of drills mixed in. I learned how to use the kickboard and moving forward, you know, brick by brick, uh, piece by piece, it was starting to come together till I started to actually look like a swimmer and feel like a swimmer and I could actually cover a little ground when I got to the pool. got you in all your glory right here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Figuring it out, man. We're gonna do it. Oh. Woo. What a dope.